So prior to performing our manipulation technique to help improve motion with radial extension at the midcarpal joint, we're going to test. So we're going to come in, find the proximal and distal pole of the scaphoid, turn his hand so that we're respecting that 45 degree angle of the midcarpal joint, and then coming in and testing, going dorsally, and that's going to help for improving radial wrist extension, and then going in a volar direction to help improve ulnar flexion. So I'm testing, I feel a limit here with coming dorsally. So I'm going to come down. This is a closed chain technique, so I can either go through his web space or around his thenar to, to block and stabilize his trapezoid. My other thumb then is going to go on the scaphoid. Again, our manipulating hand is the same as our stabilizing hand. So I'm stabilizing the trapezoid volarly, and now I'm going to manipulate the scaphoid. I have the ulnar border of his hand off the weight, so I'm respecting that 45 degree plane. I come in here, I pick up the slack, and overpressure, and I slowly release. And then I retest. Did we make a difference? Well, it's a little more mobile. Good.